What's up guys, Baker here. Um, today I got this little uh, rainbow party lines. I was trying to call it uh, rainbow edges. And I know it's old, but I haven't seen a tutorial that um, followed the exact steps that I did to create this and stuff. So just want to kind of share it. Now first off, uh, I just want to say I don't want you guys to copy this exact effect because um, yeah, what I, what I really want you to do is learn what I'm doing and then apply that to new things. So, that'll, that'll be cool. So anyway, so you got your clip and stuff. We're just going to make a new adjustment layer. And um, just go to when the kill happens. The computer's a little slow today. So, I won't go to the exact spot. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it just so it's easier. Uh, maybe go out here. Okay. First, we're going to find some find edges. And we're going to go to invert. We get some cool stuff. Now, I don't really like all the white um, edges, so search up hue and saturation. Put that before your edges. And bump up the saturation a lot until you get some colors. I used about 75 for this. So, just kind of find a nice balance because you don't want to go too far because then it just looks kind of gross so 75 is a, is a good guess then we're gonna go to levels to try to contrast this and get rid of all the gross um, bumpy stuff you can kinda see so just bring in the uh, input black a little bit and bring in the input white a little bit to make it a little bit brighter kinda like that now it's looking a little too crispy and sharp so go ahead and search up glow just to give it a little bit more oomph, I guess. Now, um, people, I've seen people do like this little rainbow overlay and wiggle it with turbulent displays and stuff, but all it is is this hue and saturation. So just go to the beginning when it gets the kill or whatever. Keyframe the channel range, which keyframes all these values. You can't do it separately, except for the ones at the bottom. Um, just go to the end and just take the master hue and just uh, crank this up quite a bit so you get some nice colors so maybe you know like 20 times you'll have to um, ram preview it to see if the color changing is too fast or not and one more thing I added which was kinda optional but I liked it CC composite and what this does is it takes your original um, footage and applies it back on. So we're going to set this to add but change the opacity down. So it's like re-adding that layer back in. So I used about 10% for this. It's very subtle but it just kind of adds a little bit more um, color to everything else. Um, you can also add some magic bolt looks to make some more glows. I also added some um, Audio spectrum bars, that's what you see at the bottom. It's uh, just made it super rainbowy. So, that's another thing, another reason why it looks so colorful. And I know it's not exact, there's some other things like um, <laughs> light burst and just some more CC and stuff. And, but that's the basics of this. Just be careful, using find edges is extremely slow. You can see right now. My computer is having a hard time uh, random previewing random frames and stuff, so um, use this sparingly. I was experimenting with this effect and it came out pretty good, so you can go ahead and try it. Just, uh, you know, if you can make up something on your own, that'd be cool. New effect. Go ahead and set a video response. But, um, yeah. While we're waiting, go ahead and hit like, or favorite, or comment, or hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, talk to me on there and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And let's just take a quick look how fast this is. And go! Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't die on me. 8 gigs of RAM, and this is what I get. Super Party! So, not too bad. Just a tiny fa bit fast for me. I don't know. 
but add some flashes and some screen pumps and a little bit more glows with magic bulb looks and it'll be perfect so yeah okay peace